and then when the president and his entourage go inside, you know, what's the first what's what's the first thing that President Whitmore says to his uh, Secretary of Defense? Why don't I know about this place? Where do you get the money for this? And the response is plausible deniability. So, you know, once again, you can't help but wonder, you know, when the when the U.S. Department Department of Defense year after year after year audits show that they don't know where billions of dollars went. They can't account for it. You have to wonder, okay, is it really just crappy bookkeeping or are we talking about off the books projects? <clears throat> off the books. I, my, I think off the books projects or black projects. Can't continually lose that amount of money. Well, I mean, U.S. government, like many other governments, are really good at waste. At, at waste. Okay. Mm -hmm. Plus, plus, the, you know, the U.S. government, yeah, you know, they just print more money. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't matter that we're thirty-four billion trillion dollars in the hole; we just print more money. Yeah. Well, you guys all flew here. You went through TSA up until twenty eighteen. They were the second largest military entity, and were completely unarmed, but yet we're a security agency. Say something. Mm -hmm. Yep, not until they came out with their light or strike teams did they ever become armed. That sort of thing. Alright, so after we visit the dry lake bed, we'll be going over there. That's where Backgate is located. It's called Backgate. It's at the end of Dallas Range Road. But like I said, that's where our commercial trucks enter. So ahead of us, about 120 miles or probably closer to 200 kilometers away is the town of Tonopah, Nevada. And commercial trucks go into the base coming from that side. I'm not sure what's out that way. The trucks that are coming in, they're plain white. I mean, they're, they're tractor trailers. They're plain white, no markings on them. And when they're going down the dirt road that will be on later on, they are moving. I go down that road, do about 50 miles per hour, they're doing about 70. Because I've been behind them and they were pulling away.
this room. You don't need four wheel drive. Yeah. What'd you call it? An AD? An AD. Montreal either. I don't like it. <laughs> it. The reason I don't like it is the roads are absolutely atrocious. And the construction is everywhere and it's been sitting there so long the tractors are rusting. He had to go to school and he drove with, who was driving? Somebody from Saudi Arabia yep. or something? Yeah. There was a blizzard there you got like, I forget. You know, like three stories? Yeah, I mean you got a good decent amount of snow. I've yeah. seen three stories. Wow, this is cool. Yeah. This is awesome. The dry lake bed, eh? Well, anyway, I'm driving with a guy from Saudi Arabia who thinks the parking brake's a better way to stop the vehicle than the normal brake in the dead of winter on a slippery road. Really? This yeah, that was a treat. <laughs> Design, there were three circles with uh, like designs around them but when they checked in the three circles they found one plate like it looks like the size of a dinner plate well maybe a little larger but it's thick it's maybe three four inches thick you want to get out and look around take a photograph or two sure yeah, we'll of uh, pure gold copper and silver oh wow and on the plates was the same design as in the field you want to get out? Let's take a video. You gonna keep that there? Getting out onto the dry lake bed. First time I've been on one of these. That's uh, this is flat. I mean, this is flat as cement pavement. Look at that! A beautiful, beautiful mountains in the distance. Quite the view. bed. I'll take you down to a zoom level on that in a minute. It's 
is cracked. Flat, super flat. You can see why they race across this. 